I'm Liz Viviora and I'm the creative producer here at OpenEye um, and I'm looking after the Culture Shifts programme. When we talk about socially engaged practice, um, what we're talking about is art projects that are very much focused on how we work with society and community to document what's important around us rather than maybe the artist coming in and documenting it on their behalf. So in a way with socially engaged arts practice, the process of that collaboration between photographer or artist and the community is just as important actually as the visual outcomes that you get. Um, and you get that as a kind of continuous pattern through socially engaged projects where there's this kind of balance of relationship between process and artwork. I mean, one of the beautiful things about the Culture Shift Project for me is being able to watch the relationships develop between photographer and community and actually witness how each of those relationships and the way the project's kind of developed has been so different depending on, on the kind of pairing. And I think with those different ways of working, you can see the complexities and diversity of what it means to do a socially engaged practice. There's definitely more than one way of working and I'd say actually it's about getting the right pairing of photographer and community, but also about having that conversation about what is appropriate for each group. I also think specifically with photography, it's got such accessibility as a medium that I really do feel that those communities do feel afterwards that they can pick that up, they can look at that camera in a different way, in a completely different way, treat it as a tool for what they want, rather than maybe the kind of everyday snapping that they might be used to, or in some cases had never picked up before. And I think it's about that sense of self-ownership and authorship over that medium um, to be able to kind of state what matters to them. A kind of good example is, is the work of Tony Mallon, who worked with a group of women from Kirby in an area called Northwood, you know, the Golden Years group. Tony worked with the women over nine, ten months to build up those photographic skills so that they felt confident to kind of be taking ownership of the camera. Um, and it's great actually now to listen to the women and the use of photography language that they have now compared to the beginning. And you see that they have that, that kind of ownership from it. And then right through to the curatorial part where the women were selecting the final images with Tony and Kirby Gallery, which was the local authority partner. Um, so it's right through that kind of collaborative process from beginning to end. I'd say with Open Eye Gallery, you know, we have a long-standing history of supporting photography and photographers' practice, um, 40 years in fact. And I think we've always been at the forefront of kind of following the trends and styles of practice, but also responding to actually what society itself sees as photography and its tool. What is it about? What is it for? How does it represent? And I think for us to be able to create something like Culture Shifts and host it here is just a reflection of the fact that we are responding to the times. You know, photography as a medium has changed, the way the community is using it, the way society is using it has changed. And actually the relationships that photographers want to build with the people that they're documenting or working with has changed as well. Um, and it felt right actually for OpenEye with its long-standing history to, to try and be at the forefront of that and support that practice.